After he said this, I didn't really know how to respond or defend the price. I would rather make a deal than no deal. Should I ask for a lower price here? Great question. So, hey, Dan, question for you about sales call. I had it yesterday. I reached out on LinkedIn to a business owner about SEO for his current site. He came back and asked if I design websites. I said yes. We set up a call and I gathered the following information beforehand. He is opening two optical shops in two neighboring cities. Both are rather low for lead, lead gen competition. We started the phone call and I wanted to gauge his interest in uh, SEO right off the bat. Because of one of his locations was opening in June, he made it clear that he was just looking for a web design quote. I asked him what budget was trying and anchored a price of some kind and came back saying he's seen basic sites get sold for as low as 400, anywhere to 5,000. And his site was rather easy to make, only basic pages, home about contact locations and a few pages displaying his services and his glasses frames. I quoted him 1,500 one-time payment or gave him the option to rent the site for 150 a month with a buyout at the end of it, if he decides not to SEO, which he said he would be interested in down the line. He said my 1500 quote was high for the site and it was the highest quote he has gotten. He said he was talking to other web agencies too and getting quotes from them. After he said this, I didn't really know how to respond or defend the price. I would rather make a deal than no deal. Should I ask for a lower price here? Great question. Okay, so here's my two cents about this, okay? People, and this is this is actually super timely, so I'm kind of glad you asked it. People um, don't know how. This is because of lack of practice. This is from this is from lack of preparation, lack of practice, lack lack of repetition. The the average person doesn't know how to deal once the price, once you get to the price point of any transaction. I don't care what you're selling. I would say 99% of people are afraid of it. They're afraid of the no because they haven't practiced what to say, which we talked about at the start of this call. They're afraid of the, probably bigger than that, they're more afraid of losing a deal that they don't yet have yet. And so what they end up doing is they end up uh, not doing anything oftentimes, not responding back, not having an answer because they're like, well, dude, I need this 1500 bucks. I, I want to just, I don't want to blow it. So I'm not sure what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, okay, well, let me send you over some information. We'll talk soon, right? Uh -uh. Horrible. Number one, okay. First and foremost, I don't believe that business owners are that consumed to that level of pricing. Uh, I think pricing is important for sure. But what's more important than pricing is really understanding the things that they're really buying. And <clears throat> I don't think a lot of us really even understand that when we go in there and like we can use a web design job as an example, they ain't buying web design. I mean, they're buying something that they see they want to be on the web, but they're, but they're really looking for what the result that they've co concocted in their brain to be what the web is going to get them, right? What the web, by, by putting this investment into a website, they're saying, I believe that that's going to derive me X. And if they don't believe it's going to drive them, derive them much, then their, their, their value that they place on something that you're selling them is going to be massively diminished because they don't see a website as the same way as a tool like you see a website. 